All right, here we go, King Yella. Welcome back to Vlad TV. Man, it's been a minute. It's been a motherfucking minute, man. Been like nine years. Yeah. It's been a while. Yes, it's sir. been a while. Well, well, first of all, before we get into your whole story, you were allegedly hit in the face by a baseball bat. <laughs> allegedly. I don't know whether you're trolling yeah, or whether this is my real. shit, man. My t- oh, I got stitches in my mouth, man. My shit fucked up, man. No, man, you know. Um, <laughs> was that a real situation or are you just trolling? Because, you know, with you, you can't always tell. Man, that's how you're, you trick people to beat them. They don't know what's going on. They don't know. It's the internet. It's an illusion. I don't know. So you don't know. Somebody hit me in my shoe with a bat, did they? Did they? Did, did they, they die? Did they not? We don't know. What's going on? It may have happened. I don't know. They got to figure it out. They, they, hey, I'm a bitch ass nigga. I'm the police. I'm recording. Somebody shooting at me. They, I don't know what's going on. Did he do it? Did he, did he do it? Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll just leave it at that then. Yeah. Well, I want to get into your whole story. So, you were born in 1990. Whoa. Uh, 90s baby. Yes, in sir. Chicago. Southside? Inglewood, E-Dub. Okay. So, what was Chicago like in the early 2000s? Early 2000s, man. It was, um, it was beautiful. I say Chicago, man, it was... Early 2000 shit, 2000, I was 10, so you know, when you a kid, man, every you don't, you don't really know, like, the troubles, or, you know, probably motherfuckers fighting at school and shit like that, but other than that, you ain't had no worries, you ain't had no bills, you ain't had shit, you ain't had no worries, but it was fun, but it always been, like, niggas think Chicago, now, what they see on the internet, Chicago been fucked up, you got to think, you got... Al Capone, you got Larry Hoover, Jeff Forge, this type of shit that come from it. You know what I'm saying? So it's always been like a gangster city. You feel me? So, but as a kid, it was it, it was it was beautiful, man. It's it ain't the same as how it is now. Like this, it, the kids now <laughs> fucked up. So you yourself, uh, two parent home, single family home? No, I, uh, I really like um. When I was born, my mama uh, moved to Minnesota. So I used to be back and forth from Minnesota to Chicago. And what she moved to uh, California, Sacramento, in like 2000. Mm. So then it was all been like that. I was just telling her, you like, well, what? Yeah, shit, I get into it with my mama or, you know, I go, mama kick you out and run to my daddy. Like grandma house, you know, grandma always. I was grandma baby anyway, so since I was little, she like took me in anyway. So I always wanted to go to 1238 West 74th Street to the hood, to the block, you feel me? So, yeah, so but I just bounced around. Okay. But I had all, you know, my daddy was in my life, my mama was in my life. Mm-hmm. So uh, as a teenager, she get in trouble, good kid? Bad as fuck. Okay. I was bad as hell at school. <laughs> I would try to dodge a sentence, for real. That's real shit. Bad. I was a problem child, man. And I don't really say like, like bad. Well, I don't know. I think I just liked to do, get into shit, burn down garages and like, throw bricks you, over you bridges. You burned down a garage. Shit. All type of shit. Your own garage or someone else's garage? No, fuck no. Not my shit. Somebody else shit. But why would you burn down a garage? It's a kid. I don't know. He's a kid. I don't even know. I mean, there's usually a reason behind it. You don't just randomly burn down someone's Probably garage. I just wanted them to see that motherfucker burn down. Shit, I was just okay. doing all type of shit. I was still my grandma Virginia Slims and shit, smoked the cigarettes, and then it was a car that motherfucker, and I was just threw that motherfucker in the little car in the garage. Obviously, it was going to catch on fire. Then, oh, okay. shit. What the fuck? But, yeah, I used to do. But then I used to watch, like, crazy-ass shit, like movies and shit, and just, just copy shit like that. Uh, what's that one movie uh, with Macaulay Culkin when he... Uh, Home Alone? No, nah, that shit too, but he wasn't a bad kid in that. But he was the bad kid with the... When the um the girl with the... She died with the B, I think, or some shit, the B stains and some shit like that. But he used to take the little... The little he took the little fake things and throw them over the bridge and shit and on the cars and make the bitches crash. Hmm. So I used to go on top of buildings and shit and throw rocks and bricks at cars, throw shit over the thing, cars... Bad as fuck. Okay. Were you getting arrested for any of this? Uh-uh. I don't okay. think they could charge me now, can they? <laughs> I was like 10. No. Pass the statute of limitations. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Okay. So when did you start getting arrested? In 2000. 10 years 2000. old. 2000. 
I think um, my first time really getting arrested, like, and, and getting locked up on the 2000, we had, like, beat some little niggas up, took their KFC chicken, took their shit. They locked me up for, like, robbery. I was, like, 10 years old. Okay. Running from the police, they chasing us. My goofy ass ran, tried to jump the gate. And I think in the, in the gate in Chicago, that motherfucker went in the back of my shirt. Oh, you got stuck in there. I can't get up. I did up so little back then. <laughs> oh, what the fuck going on? I'm stuck like a motherfucker. Police like, mm-hmm. Bump. Lock my stupid ass up. But I ain't really, you know, they just, back then, I'm little, so they just took me to the station, called my parents and shit, with my grandma. Somebody had to come get me and shit like that. Okay, but that was just a slap on the wrist. Yeah. What was your first actual arrest that we actually had to do sometime? 2005 in Sacramento. Okay, so you're 15 at that point. Yeah. What was that for? GTA. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. You stole a car. Stealing motherfucking Toyota Camrys with scissors and shit. Meow. <laughs> we sliding the bitches. Yeah. But you know, you young, man, you ain't thinking this shit like you a kid. So, you know, it's really like joyriding. You know what I'm saying? We, we just shit, doing shit. Trying to be cool, you know what I'm saying? That'd be mostly just showing you a kid, you trying to fit in and, mm. and still for a long time, you know, it's, it, it really just like, as I get older, I realize like, motherfuckers just fitting in or trying to do shit to be cool, or, you know, for their opinion, for other motherfuckers, try to look good for other motherfuckers and shit like that. Okay, so you get caught for GTA, and what do they give you? I went to jail for like 45 days. It's not bad. Yeah, then I got out probation. And um and sack, going to school, da 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 da. Get into it with my mama and shit, kick my ass out the crib. Back to Chicago, I go. Okay. And that's when it all starts. <laughs> so what starts in Chicago at that, that point? That's where like now it's just like once she kicked me out then. Now I'm in Chicago. She put me on a Greyhound. I was supposed to win some wells. I it made a stop before then getting downtown Chicago. Hazel Crest. I used to live out there with my daddy, one of my best friends. Stay out there. I bailed off the bus and went to his crib. And now I'm just in the streets, okay. figuring this shit out on my own. Is that when the gangster disciple thing started? No, I've been GD all my life, for real, for real. At what my age? My daddy GD. Oh, your dad was GD. So I was like born GD already. So okay, like t- 1990, 20, uh, but, I mean, February of, 25th. Right, you know, but a lot of times when parents are affiliated with something, they don't want their kids to be part of it. No, you know, but like when you got young parents and shit, yo, know, my mama was 17, my daddy was like 19. So basically, that's still a kid. My mama yeah. and my brother, she was like, he like 14, my daddy like 17. So having kids young, you like I said, you young. No matter 17, 18, 20, still 20, in your 20s, motherfucker be thinking they grown, your ass is really still a, you's a baby, you know what I'm saying? You still not, your brain not all the way developed like that, for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't saying my daddy was encouraging it, but if he around his motherfucker, this all I'm seeing, I'm on the block, he taking me on the block, we hang, my daddy's still on the block in the hood. And I'm, everybody I see throwing up GD shit, you know? What else? Eventually, like, we don't have no jump. This ain't, like, our California shit. Ain't no jumping the motherfucker in and getting put on and all that. It's just, it really just happened. You on this block, eventually you gonna choose. You gonna be a Blackstone, BD, GD, Vice Lord, you, you know what I'm saying? And we gotta learn literature and paperwork and shit like that. So that's how we don't get jumped in or you gotta go shoot somebody or do some gangster shit, you know, but... You just got to know how this shit go. Okay. Because in 2012, Chief Keef, he drops I Don't Like. Mm-hmm. And then that really puts a spotlight on, the rack. on Chicago. On the side rack shit. But also the gang shit on top of it. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Like that. That's when the hip-hop world got to really see how the music because and the gang shit. Because now you got social media, you exactly. got Instagram, you got, you know, the gang shit been going on, like I've been saying. That right, shit been but, but the rest of the world didn't really know about it. Yeah. Until the, the music, was, the music the, gave it, you know, sort of a soundtrack yeah. to the reality of it all. Yeah. And then, you know, you start learning about the GDs and the BDs and everything else like that. And it was crazy from the outside looking in. Mm-hmm. 
when did you actually start doing music? Since a kid. Okay. I've been doing music since forever. I really thought I was going to be a singer back in the day in the 90s and shit. <laughs> Listening to Usher. R&B <laughs> singer. Thought, I, thought, you know, you little your voice, you thinking you, you know, I, but hell no. Didn't but for real, for real, you know, people be like, you know, now that's why people be saying on the internet, like, I'm comfortable with being me and having fun on the internet. Like, people, oh, you're a little goofy because I'm living my life now. I ain't in Chicago looking over my shoulder. Now I can skip over the shit because I want it to be cool. I miss my my childhood. I miss the, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers trying to be grown. So now motherfuckers be, I really just be having fun and living life now. So motherfuckers, oh, yeah, what happened to him? He ain't even a sick. I don't live in the trenches no more. You right. And you really look, I don't, I'm not game banging. I'm not, hey, let's go kill somebody. No, I'm not doing that. If you watch my shit and see I'm at home with my kids, I got hella kids. Hmm. I'm taking care of my responsibilities like I'm, I'm a father. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't give a, I'm still a man. So niggas be like, why you be tripping? You might, cause I'm a man. So you play with me, I'm still a human. I feel like Pac, you know, Pac was, motherfucker, he's preaching, do all that, but then soon you play with him, I spit in your face and smack your ass too. And that's how I am, you know what I'm saying? Even though I try my best to <laughs> woo saw, so I, cause they, I know they got a place for me. They're gonna send me back in there and treat me like a fucking dog in a cage. And I don't wanna go through that shit no more. How many kids do you have? Man, I got, I got step kids, I got kids. I got six kids though. That's Six mine. biological kids. Then my girl got four. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, that's but ten. we got two together. So okay, plus four from other relationships. Yeah. yeah. What year did you actually start releasing music though? Like oh seven. Okay. So I had shit on you like it's I got YouTube's like literally real videos of me. Okay. Pretty early. Rapping in oh seven on that motherfucker around that like Soldier Boy era. Mm. But like when I started rapping like really for real for real Bow Wow the reason. At the time, I was a kid, so I'm, damn, he, you know, damn, a famous kid. Like, if he could do this shit, I could do this shit, too, mm -hmm. you know, back then. You know, that was, but that's really, I ain't niggas be, oh, but that was, like, my encouragement as a as a child. That, that Bow Wow, you seeing Lil' Romeo at the time, 2000, 2001. Mm -hmm. But still, I still was listening to all the other shit. You got Ludacris, everybody that was coming out at the time, uh, Nelly, and all the shit, you feel me? But, mm -hmm. but that was my encourage, my encouragement for that shit, like. The face tats, when did they start? 2008. Okay. Pretty early. 18. 18 years old. What was the first face tat? I had um, some teardrops and a cross in the middle of my shit. Okay. Lil Wayne fucked us up. <laughs> Lil Wayne fucked us up. You was, you was still like a kid listening, watching Disney and shit at the time. Okay, because I remember, I mean, the socks tattoo was pretty early. Yeah, I got the, um, I covered the teardrops and shit up. I got oh, the socks tattoo was, the, the on socks like 2012. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because. Well, I tried to do some shit before that. Look, when I got locked, when I caught my adult case in 2019, I mean, talking about 2019, 2009, and the judge said something, it was something like, ooh, she was tr tripping with the teardrops and shit. So I tried to cut, co I covered them up and put music notes on my shit. Mm. Just the own, you know what I'm saying? Cause she went, you're gonna go to prison. I ain't trying to go to prison. I'm hell no, I'm scared as hell back then. I ain't trying to hit no yard. Well, well, right, because I mean, the teardrops, I mean, they mean different things for different people. Yeah. But, but generally when you see them, most people think those are murders. Yeah. So right? Not to say that that's what it means. Yeah. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying from the outside looking people in, when that, people see teardrops, they for, think- You know, rest in peace to they, they loved ones, then you know, the other reason is that somebody else got killed. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, right. So when you had them, was it sort of a weird kind of vibe when, when kind of walking around? Because once you yeah. get them. Yeah, you know, now motherfuckers looking at you crazy. Man. They're looking at you a certain type of way. Back then, too, I was little and I just looked real crazy when I was skinny. So motherfucker like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Then our names already ringing. So this is already, it's just like, damn, you know, we got tat, tit drops on their face and shit, all this shit. Well, 2011, Tuca gets killed. 2012, I think. 2012? Was it 12? 2011. I think it was 11. You know, I ain't. I wasn't. I, I'm not from 63rd, so I wasn't. Um, 
When Tuka got killed, I didn't even know them. I ain't no duck so, or none of them. So you were, you were affiliated with any of that? No, in 2011, I was in prison, actually. So I was okay, in prison for what? in 2010. For what? Aggravated assault on the police with a firearm. Were you shot at a police with a, with a gun? That's what they said. You were convicted for it, though? Yeah. Okay. Can you talk about the situation? They shot at me. They tried to kill my ass. The police shot at you and you... So it was a situation that happened that morning. Some woo do woo woo Long live my best friend, Skeezy. Um, they was, we were shooting dice. Somebody came and robbed the dice game. And um, well, I looked to the side in the gangway, and this before motherfuckers, this 2010, we got a pipe with a stick in that bitch. This wasn't normal. This not regular in Chicago at that time. So, you know, you was more advanced. You got a handgun with a clip hanging out that my possible. I don't know. I'm scared to death. And I said, whoa, get up out of there, hit the gate. But the whole time I had my pipe like a couple houses down. So I run and grab my gun. But by the time I come back around, they all ready to rob motherfuckers and get up out of there. But I'm on my way to get on their ass. You feel me? So I finna get on their ass and phew, my luck. All of this hell. My, my ex girl, she used to call my real name, Simon! Nah. They, how you looking at me right now? It's like, gun in my hand. It's like, what the fuck I'm gonna do? Like, oh shit. Gone. Shoo! You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I hit the alley, and um, they on me. They behind me. So I see him. So I pull a garbage can. One of them fall. <laughs> he fall on his shit. So whole time when he do, when I do that and his, and his partner fall, they get to blowing at me. Boom, boom, boom. But I'm running, so and I still got the gun in my hand. So, more of the story, when they do all the shit, he tried to act like basically like I pointed, like I tried to up the gun on him, and you know, that's what they used as the reason they fired at me. But I never shot at them or nothing. I never shot at them or nothing. I'm not a fucking idiot to shoot at no fucking police. I ain't that tough now. You gotta be crazy in the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, that was, Shooting at other motherfuckers, you know, they, you know. Yeah, they tried to kill me. I actually had dreads at the time. They just shot, like, shot with their dreads off. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Went through my hair. All, like, this whole side was, like, gone. So, damn. You know, God was with me. That's, you know, a lot of that shit was like, damn. I survived that. I survived a lot of shit. Like, I definitely got a purpose in this motherfucker. You feel me? Okay, they shot at you, but according to the charge, you shot back? Pointed the gun at him or whatever that's supposed to mean. I upped on him or whatever. But you didn't I, actually shoot back. No. But you got convicted for assault on a police officer. How long did they give you? I ain't do shit. I did like 18 months. They gave me three years. So three years, really, with good time, it really supposed to be like a year. Three years at 50, you do have, but they had took good time at the time, so I ended up doing. Not even a whole 18 months, because I went to school and shit, so I got like three months. I only did like 15 months. Okay. I was back. What year did you come back? I left 2010, and basically came home 2012. Aha. Uh because -huh. I caught the case September, I think the day Pac got killed or got shot, September 13, 2010. Then I came home December 27, 2011. It was only fucking three days left. That was 2012. Got it. Got it. So you never knew Tuca, you never knew that whole crew at all? No, I ain't know Tuca. I mean, you know, I know everybody else, but, like, I met Duck in them 2012. I met Abby, Abby okay. G. Cash. I met Duck on 55th and, um, I think, Wentworth or something. Wabash at the at the uh, gas station. I had already saw folks' music and shit at the time. Mm -hmm. And, we, you know, my father was rapping, and, like, we had mutual homies and shit. I'm like, what up, little Duck? You know, he was just... Young at the time, tall, skinny ass little nigga in there getting him some blunts and shit. And we chopped it. I got his number and shit. And we really still was like, you know, we would see each other, but we wasn't clicked like how we, you know, end up being mm -hmm. a couple years later. But, yeah. Okay. Did you know FPG Butter around that time? No. That came later. I met, I met Butter uh, when Lil J started doing weird shit. Butter, you know. <laughs> Butter probably like how Butter Butter probably was known in his hood over there. Like I wasn't going on St. Lawrence and shit. Like I wasn't hanging that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Butter was probably known as doing I met Butter probably like twenty fourteen. Uh-huh. 
okay. 2015 or something like that. Yeah, I just had him on here. We were talking about the whole situation with his sister, K.I. Oh, yeah. Did you know her, though? I knew K.I. for sure. Really? Yeah. I mean, K.I. allegedly killed 20 people. That's man, what they I, say. Man, listen, man. What they pull out to the world... That was a woman, a, a girl, a little girl at like that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, she was a teenager. Uh, she was a, yeah, a, a, a female. So I don't know if these niggas get on these platforms to say, like, when I, K.I., K.I. was smoking weed, cool. I never saw that side where people would be talking, oh, she killed this person and all that. If a motherfucker killed 20 people, man, in Chicago, you know who, yeah, everybody talking about that's some internet. Crazy shit. I don't know. Unless yeah. you just a, a, a vigilante and you, and if you're a vigilante, nobody knows you. Cause you're a serial killer. Nobody knows you yeah. doing this. Who right. the fuck knows that until you get caught? Right. Well, I interviewed Butter about this whole situation. There was rumors that she killed as many as 20 people. As many as 50 people is crazy. The, the stories are really wild, especially since she was a teenage girl on top of it. Oh, yeah. When, when she stabbed dude in the party. She jugged the stupid ass. <laughs> yeah, she was a wild girl. She Jay. actually stabbed someone as yeah, well. Yeah, that she was at a party on MOB. That bitch went to the moon. She. <laughs> That's when she was a girl, though. That was her girl days when she hit my fucks with box cutters and, and, and switchblades. Nah. I ain't gonna lie. I think Kyra be a rapper right now. I think she'd be a, a big ass rapper, like Young and Made or somebody on a folks' grave. No funny shit. Everybody know Kyra be rapping about what she really lived. Motherfuckers know she be rapping that shit. I mean, the two of you were, were really close? That was my dog, man. You know? He was I like mean, Shag and Scooby. Was she just violent in general, or do you think that nah, those chain no, of Kyra, events caused Kyra her to be that? Kyra wasn't violent at first, gang. Kyra was actually a uh, down-to-earth nice person, bro. But you got to think about it. Shorty lady, I done got shot in the face, took a die. And like, it was a lot of shit going on in her life too fast. I don't, I like, when Jaro and Hottie and them, when they, when, when folks them from Jaro died, like, Kyron them ain't really get no effect from that shit because it's like, I right, them the big guys from all, all, off the other side of the tracks, you feel me? But then when that's when motherfuckers in our inner crowd started getting shot, motherfuckers started dying. That's like, that shit, that shit have changed anybody. That, that shit have make anybody change. That was his sister. Man, butter crazy, man. But butter, butter is butter, crazy. Butter's pretty crazy, yeah. Butter crazy, man. Yeah. I would have to agree. I ain't surprised Butter said he the one that killed these 20 people. I don't know, brother. Who I don't know, them? man. K.I. me. You might be in this motherfucker. Me, K.I. we the same person. This nigga is crazy. <laughs> butter crazy, man. Well, in 2014, K.I. gets killed mm -hmm. and Butter gets shot. Yeah. In 2014, she was caught in a situation, yeah, we, and you we, were actually there too. We was we was caught in the situation. Okay, tell me tell me what led up to this. I mean, you know, we was really out trolling earlier day on fourth grade, and we was trolling earlier day. We were trying to catch some. Shutting them, put the police on us. Though when we caught them in the restaurant, my own put the police on us. She for she for walked them down in front of the police though. If Fuzzle ain't telling them, like, crazy, I'm like, boy, yo ass cheating, girl, come on. Oh, folks, she for light that bitch up. They try to run in a restaurant. She for going that bitch with them and the police and tell their ass down. Um, bro, crazy, I'm like, for yo ass cheating, come on, shorty. Whole time, but look the real, if look the real, wouldn't have been on FaceTime with them niggas. Them niggas wouldn't even know who we was, gang. We was up on them boys, um, bro. But, Looks out of the down, we ran from the police, had to put the pipes up, you know, tight shit. When that police finally did catch it, you know, they running our name, we on the police car, fooling them, come spin that bitch, pointing at us. Okay. Police leave, literally like two minutes after police leave, fool hit the corner, throwing. Motherfucker can't tell me the police ain't had nothing to do with that murder. Oh my dear, I don't even shorty. It's like, it's like motherfucker called the police on us, made sure we ain't had no pipes on us. Then it came and slid on us. She got shot nine times. You got shot once in the leg. 
had an artificial kneecap and bro to my ACL, shot at my knee bone. Did you know Butter by this point? I ain't even know Butter then. Okay. I met Butter like when Lil J, everybody stopped hanging with Lil J, he started getting all the clout and think he better than everybody then, you know, like Duck wasn't fucking with him and shit like the billionaire, like, you know, niggas had fell out. That That's when Lil J started hanging with Butter mm. and he started bringing Butter around. Uh, you see, they end up catching a goofy ass case together. You know, you know, saw him on the end of that butter talking about, yellow, I took your chain and da 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 da. Y'all was in the house with the bitch. The fake ass jewelry, fake ass jewelry was in the house. That's it. Mm. You feel me? Y'all, y'all got the jewelry from the grill, taking something, taking it off King Yellow neck. <laughs> Never did that. No, it's just a crazy ass story. I, I mean, with the whole KI thing and then. And- all the stuff it ties into, into the Tuca situation, the Odie Perry situation, the King Von situation, it's all intermixed in a... Because they ass right across the street from each other. Yeah. It's, it's right there, the old block. <laughs> the next block is the GD. Like, the people don't understand Chicago. We don't have blocks where you in tour with a neighborhood. No, we in tour. We probably be in tour with this. It might be... This. My block, 1300, you got eight or 1200, we riding a tour with a motherfucker. On the only thing stopping is this little street right here. You have to see these people. Why do you think people getting killed like that? If you in a tr- we have to see you. You have to see me. You got motherfuckers sleep on you, laying in your backyard, laying in your front yard when you come out from school. Bow, bow, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? That's how, you know? And the average motherfucker getting killed out there is not like, you got, you got the names that's getting killed too, but the majority of the murders that people see all over the TV like that, it be miscellaneous and people that's nobody, they don't even be really no game, man. It might be drugs, or he stole a nigga crack, he stole this nigga weed, and when you, you in the church, this niggas broke, motherfucker killing for anything. Killing for anything. Well, I remember, I learned about you in t- 2015. That was when uh, Slim Jesus became a thing. Yeah. And the two of you started kind of rocking together for a minute. Yeah. Then you killed his career. I, I killed his career. You let him get on your platform and <laughs> and, 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 and kill himself. Uh, I think I actually kind of made his career. I think you killed this shit. I think I killed it. Man, that man got on your platform and said, man, you said, but what you tell him, man? That man oh, he said, I make up all this stuff. I don't do any of it. I don't shoot anybody. I'm not a gangster. It's so all, you're known as a white boy. You known for drill time. This is your music. You talking about doing this shit. Now you get on here and say, that's why they be tweaking with me now, because I was known for all this. So they just want a motherfucker to be a gangster forever. The people don't change. I just suppose, hey, I'm just known killer or whatever y'all want this shit to be. This, You know? But he got on that motherfucker. I said, in my head, of course, I would never get on this bitch and say, I kill people, I do anything. But if you harm me and you play with me, I'm going to protect myself. Right. That's That's all he had to say. He said, of course I'm not out here hurting people. But your song, you talking about, bang, 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 I'm going to shoot him, I'm going to do this, I'm going to kill it. Of course I'm not actually out here killing people. Oh, you're a fucking fraud. You know, when you listen to your music, there's a lot of street stories. Like, how, how involved were you street-wise in terms of... Street-wise, like, I mean, for the most part on the street shit, like, I got homies that are in that shit, and I know people who are, and people around me. I mean, I haven't, like, I'm not out here catching bodies and shit, obviously. Like, I'm fucking smart. But, like, I mean, I know people, and I've been, you know, in some situations, but I'm not, like, out here fucking killing people. Yeah, man, Slim Jesus. Uh, haven't heard from him in a while, but... I'm sure he's somewhere living his life. Man, you got that man hanged, man. <laughs> no, you, he still was doing I right after that interview. He was doing I. Right. Well, I did like two interviews with him, and then I think I was going to do a third, but he wanted to charge me, and I'm like, I'm not paying you for an interview, man. I, after everything I've done, nah, I'm not paying. And that was the end of that. <laughs> yeah. You know, that was the end of that. Well, okay, well, in 2016, you were filming a, a music video. I think it was a Black Lives Matter music video and you got shot. Mm-hmm. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I got my stupid ass shot. People tried to kill me. No, but, uh, you know, uh, I probably was like the first motherfucker, you know, I had started the No More movement try to, in Chicago, try to bring everybody together. Let's get some money, fuck all this game banging shit. And, you know, if you watch the video, you know, I had like all type of different gangs in the video, but I feel like, I don't know. 
somebody dropped my low or something. It had to be like, you know, motherfucker pulled directly. But I did shoot the video in, in the Ops neighborhood, basically, you know what I'm saying? Why would you do that? I don't know. And you know what's crazy? Duck and Billionaire Black was in the car and forcing them did not forcing them like, boy, I'm not, go ahead. Ah, right, you want to go ahead. <laughs> but like, we was still, we was blinked up. We had, you know what I'm saying? We was piped up. Like, but I had gave my mood to one of the guys, Lone Little Kobe. So, you know, if you hit, hit a video, like, you know, it was shots back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think it was just, you know, me getting shot, but shit. Motherfuckers was getting their ass popped too, so. You know, but I don't know. It was just um, a stupid decision, basically, because the place that I did it at. You know what I'm saying? Was but, that the first time you got shot? Huh? Was that the first time you got shot? No, I got shot three years, like three years before that. What was that? Same day shot? I got out the out of prison. You got out of prison. And you got shot. Man, listen, man. <laughs> Jumping off the train, off the Amtrak. My pops picked me up. Stop at the store. Buy a bottle on a block, you know, I'm home. Ah. But, you know, before I got locked up, it was some tension in the hood already. So, motherfucker, spin a block, and I see the nigga, I'm just. Because the nigga was a bitch, so while I was in prison, I guess he got tough. You know, rest in peace, you know, God bless his soul now, though. But, you know, he's where'd somewhere you get hit? In the, over there in the sky. Well, huh? where'd, you get, where'd you get hit that first time? That my thigh. Okay. Uh -huh. So leg shooter, not a head shooter. So at the video shoot, where'd you get shot? Um, uh, my elbow behind my arm and my side right here. Okay. Yeah. So you get shot, take to the hospital, right? What the last time? Well, the, at the video shoot. Yeah, we drove to the hospital. You drove to the hospital. Yeah. The, yeah. Okay. Whenever there's a shooting, though, police arrive. Want to know what happened? The police smacked that bitch. But it's crazy because you know, um, I don't know if you just saw the. Little, did you see the video? Of the um, that nigga that um punched the lady in in, in the restaurant. The little boy in Chicago. The little boy shot shot the nigga um nah, and yeah. killed him. Nah. But and and that same in my video, the Black Lives Matter video that I had shot. The same little boy I had did some acting scene where we was all outside. And some guys pull up, shoot the block up, and they end up missing all the grown people and hit the kid. Mm. But that's the same kid that just killed dude for uh, punching on his mama. Damn. What? He got a free body. They <sighs> went to jail, locked his mama up and everything. They let him go, though. Mm. Self-defense. Yeah. But, like, so after that, my acting scene, like, I, we put him in a car and then I took him to the hospital. Crazy, because I acted, taking this little boy to the hospital, and the next thing you know, I'm running myself in that hospital for real, shot, for real. Mm. You feel me? Okay, so that next year, a situation happened where you were with Billionaire Black, and you ran into 600 Breezy in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. What exactly happened? And by the way, shout out to 600 Breezy. He's been on my show multiple times. I'm not here to, to promote any sort of beef. No, it's all good. Yeah. More power to him. Right. <laughs> but what happened, though? Uh, we was in um, 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 what? Was it, Planet it was, Hollywood. It was in Vegas. Yeah, in Planet Hollywood. Uh, I think we was running to the Bitcoin machine to bust a move, bust a play. And, um, just so happened to walk past the, uh, the shoe store, and he was in that motherfucker by himself. So billionaire, you know, I really ain't know the nigga like that for real. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like I heard his music, but people, people were like, oh, I didn't listen to his music. Like he like a, like was a, not on nothing basically. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we see him billionaire. Six O Brizo. He thought he had some fans and turned around. And when he turned around, he was like. Home Alone, you know that Home Alone look on that motherfucker? So when he saw us, he, you know? But it was too late, like you see a motherfucker, like you right there, like you can't run, you can't do nothing like this. But, you know, him and Billionaire really chopped it up because they like, no, you know, I'm not from 63rd, like people study, I'm not from over there. So like I just told you, like you get to going back into shit, like I don't even know some of folks and them homies that get killed, you know what I'm saying? Like I fuck with folks now, but you know, them y'all homies, you know that, 
they gone, but like it don't, you know, it ain't really affected me. Had it affect them because that was their homies. I don't know them. So they really had their conversation. But that shit wasn't shit. Like he studied, you know, he tough as hell. Like this, how many years later he still be saying shit. And after he already went on the internet, only motherfucker I was worried about was Yala and da 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 da. Like he just be on the internet. Like we could have, we was like seven deep. We could have stumped a mud hole in that boy if we wanted to. You know what I'm saying? But at the time, like, we, I moved to Vegas. Like, I moved to Vegas for a reason. I'm trying to get some money and I'm out the way. I ain't trying to do that game banging that shit. So that was really his pass on that. You know what I'm saying? But he's still seven, eight years later still. You see what's going on? You asking about this shit. This shit way back then. Well, well you actually talked about, well, he offered to, to do a boxing match. And y'all about the same size. Yeah, he gained a little weight. Yeah. But about the same height, same weight, more or less. That'd be, that'd be a pretty good match. I think it'd be even. I'm bigger than him for sure, still. He just, you know. He's, he's not been a trying push, to work he's not out. pushover is what I'm saying. He's, this is no, not like they ain't gonna be like, if I beat his ass, they ain't gonna be like, oh, you was bigger than him. Yeah, no, no no one could say that. So that'd be a fair fight, I think. Yeah. But I ain't fighting, dude. He talked too much. Like, he just started doing too much. Then he tried to have people to reach out. Like, I reached out with him. He dodged it. Then he th- I'm not on your time. You don't run me. I'm not on your time, so you don't you don't get to pick. Then he just start doing too much. So I'm like, when I catch you, then you know it's just that. Don't you ain't we don't need no boxing ring or nothing. So when you see me and I see you, don't curl up. Just you know toughen up. You know it doesn't seem that serious, man. It's I'm not saying. that serious. So like, it doesn't. Seem that's like what I'm saying. Like Breeze, I that. just told you, like fool, nice as hell. Like he know that. Like nobody, you never did nothing. He never did nothing to nobody. So it's like. And he just be playing, you playing that shit on the internet, gang. Niggas know they can't fuck with me in real life. They play on the internet, and they don't do this shit in real life, so. Well, in 2018, you went on a whole thing about Cardi B. Who? Cardi B. Y'all know her? Yeah. Who but then that? you said that you actually lied about the whole thing. Never said that. You never said you lied. See, that's wrong with the fucking social media now. Right, hold on, let me look this up. See, this is going to go back just like the shit from yesterday, motherfucker, that's all. I'm about to look this up. Yella said he lied about it. This never happened. I never said nothing. I made a post. It said so. No, I went to prison. I came home and I said, I apologize for going on her like that. I never said I lied you said, about anything. said, I want anything. to say sorry to Cardi B. It's love. It's all love. I'm on some grown shit. 2018, I was tweaking. Uh, offset, we got to chop it up, folks. Growth and development. Where did I say I'm lying at? That was an apology to her. Okay, so you never said you're lying. What are you lying? Who's lying about some pussy? Like, what the fuck? That's the easiest shit. Like, what the fuck for real? Yeah, I mean, you talk about messing with someone who's actually married at the time. I mean, you know. What does that mean? She was doing what she was doing. I knew her before she was married. Yeah, the, the, the so motherfuckers so do they, saying, do they do that research? So you're saying that you you and Cardi B were a thing at one point? I never said we was a thing. You don't have to be a thing to have a ball. <laughs> you okay. don't have, what is a thing? Man, motherfuckers get fucked all the time and never talk to a okay. motherfucker again. Basically, you said you slept with Cardi B a long time ago. Hey, listen, man, I went to the NBA, man. You know, we, you know, we played a little hoop. Motherfuckers would be crazy because she married a nigga. What the fuck that got to do with me? All she right, was well, stripping. She was doing everything she was doing in New York. Like, come on, man. When I met that girl, she was king yellow crazy, man. Crazy. I did not know her. She was nobody. She was a fucking uh, host at the club, but she was already stripping and doing all the shit, you know? Now she got a little tiny cloud in New York. But I, Man, listen, man. Y'all lucky I lost Oso Rico, this bitch. He lost the footage, man. I had so much crazy footage of this girl. In the projects, I'm in they buildings. Roaches and rats, beds on the floor, all type of shit is cracking, pussy popping, all in this bitch. Her brimstar, she just went to the feds, all that, like, come on, man, motherfuckers be acting, cause somebody get famous, you still with somebody. What are you before you're famous? Mm. You're still human, right now, they're King Yellow, I'm still me. Somebody shoot me, I still can die, like you can. It's, it's not a fucking cartoon. You're not nobody, you're special, cause you got a name now, but. Same way, like me, even with my little fame or whatever, I don't, get, I'm still human. Like, yeah. I don't, you know, I'm still the same motherfuckers. The, she the same motherfucker that we are getting fucked in the hood. This is this what goes on. This is life. This is easy. This is. All right, well, FPG Duck, you two become cool over time. You guys have songs Better together. Level. And I did two interviews with Duck over the years. First one I did with him. 
he had talked about getting stabbed. I think he talked about getting shot. And I remember telling him that he should move out of Chicago. You did? He's like, no, nah, I'm good, I'm good. Then the second interview we did, at that point, FBG Brick had gotten killed. And I was like, Duck, look, look, look what's happening around you. Your brother just died. And Brick was in, living with me in Vegas. Oh, was he? I'm totally, oh, so I you guys were, you guys were real close. Yeah, that was my shorty. I'm talking like, like I, I, motherfucker, I didn't even tell like a lot of people like I'm, I don't put on your plate. Like before Brick left, bro, like, like our real like last conversation, like he told me like from his heart, like he felt like he finna have to kill somebody or somebody was gonna kill him, and the boy was dead a couple days later. Mm. Like for real, for real, like you know what I'm saying. So that'd be a lot of shit that sit on me. And like niggas be like, damn, yellow, what you scared to go back to? Like I, you know, I've been back. Like, but like, what I'm going to Chicago for? Like, you know what I'm saying? I know it's a. It didn't like last time I got shot. Like I looked the nigga in the eye. Like I didn't even know him. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, it's just so much hate. But then it'd be like, I'm superstitious, so it'd be like, damn, I think about certain situations. And be like, a lot of my homies go back home, and they don't never make it back to where they going. You know what I'm saying? Right, because Brick got killed in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Him and Kobe at the same time. He, he went back to Chicago, and then the situation happened where he got killed. And shortly afterwards, I interviewed Duck again. And I was like, yo, like, like this is getting bad out here. Once again, he's like, nah, I'm good. I, I know how to move. Man, Duck just was, um, because, you know, he was mad when, when me and Billy and I left. You know, we was all like this, but, um... Duck just never was, the, he didn't want to go nowhere. Yeah. Like, I just saw Butters get on there. That. that was on your shit, he just said that? And I, I made a video to that, like, he felt like he would get extorted. Like, knock yeah, that's the what fuck he said. off. Bro, we not even, we from a, don't even have. Folks was a gangster for real at hard, like, Extorted how? That's like me. I'm in Cali right now. Extort what? Yeah, that's what he I said. 50 I got 50 niggas out of Cali this. that's going to be on that, point that, that, already. That was, like, that what was are you his. talking about? <laughs> Who am I checking in with? Yeah. I'm not checking in. We're going to tap in. I'm in your city. Check in what? What are you talking about? Extort what? You're going to have to kill me. That's what's going to go on. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way fool felt like that. Like, I'm going to tell you the real reason why Duck, ain't, Duck didn't want to leave them kids. He didn't want to leave his people behind. But like I had conversations, like our conversation, like I had to, I, leave, I left my kids. Now my kids live with me in Vegas, but I had to sacrifice. Right. You had, in life you gotta sacrifice. Sometimes you gotta leave everybody. You know what I'm saying? But because look at the situation. If yeah. he would've left, sacrificed, got on, got his situation together, brought all his people out. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do in Africa and all these other countries. They send somebody over there, they get over there, open up shop, then they call, yeah. they get their people back. You gotta exactly. sacrifice. Well, in July of 2020, Duck drops Dead Bitches, mm. where he disses all his enemies who are dead. When you heard that song, what'd you think? Man, to the world, man, people keep saying like, people think like, he dropped this song and get killed. No. If you don't understand the cycle of Chicago, all these, Doug been dissing since his whole career. He's the same dead people we've been talking about on another beat and another fucking way. The thing is now, guess what? Niggas got money now. That's what it is now. The niggas you want to tour with now is millionaires. They're rich now. They could do this. <laughs> Put it right on your fucking head. <laughs> Without, you know, it's just that easy now. When you get with your bag up now, I ain't got to do nothing. Put it out there and it's going to, you know, it's taken care of. You know what I'm saying? But it was, you know, niggas was just hating him, man. That situation came from, y'all see the situation. The goofy ass nigga teased and that dropped the low. Duck was fucking his baby mama. Right, that's what Butter said. That's what it was about, It was man. over a girl. Majority of this shit is over some pussy, man. Niggas be getting that. Nigga, right now, these niggas can't even tell you why this shot right, why Chicago like that. Why is you into it? What do, why? Niggas don't even know. You know how many dead people dead right now and they can't even tell you why this nigga dead? Mm. You niggas in, in a war for what? Even for me. I was guilty by association, but that's my heart. I fuck with bro and them, so like fooling them, dirking all these niggas. These niggas wasn't my ops, but I fuck with folks and them. And this my, you know what I'm saying? 
So now, guess what? I put myself in it. My block still right now. Where I'm from, don't condone of it. They don't, you know, folks, you over there with, you know, nigga, we getting money over here. What you doing? Mm. But these my boys, you know what I'm saying? I, I We grew a lot, you know? Well, you just lost Brick. And like you said, you were living with him. And then you lose Duck, who really in that crew was the star of that crew in FBG. Yeah, he, was, sure. he was the biggest entity out of that, sure. that whole crew. For sure. When you heard the news that he gets killed, how'd you feel? I cried like a baby. Mm. I was in prison in Vegas. Are you locked up again? Yeah, I was locked up. For what? Um, some bullshit that happened in Vegas. Okay. Um, yeah, man. Um, got on the phone, man. I'm phoning them like, ooh. They wasn't sure at first. You know what I'm saying? Man, fuck, ooh. Talking about Cousin Chase Band. Man, I don't know. They talking about Duck got killed. The woo 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 and I think I hung up on him because you out there, but you not certain of what's going on. So I call a billionaire and billionaire like, it's over. Hmm. I ain't gonna lie, that was like, my heart dropped out my body like I, I fell. You know, I'm on the yard, I'm working out, I'm around that bitch. Aggressive, tough as hell, you know, you in the pen, you know, how niggas gotta be, you know? Yeah, you know, because some people, you know, like, people don't like crying in front of people because, you know, show your weakness and shit. But I don't know, it just was something that was out of my control. Like, I f fell out of some more shit. Like, I don't know, I just, I don't know, bro. That shit was, like, unreal. Unreal yeah. to me. It's a sad day, man, because, like I said, I interviewed him twice. I liked him. I liked his music. I liked his whole vibe. Me and him had a good rapport. And to think that he got killed on the Rodeo Drive of Chicago. Basically. With hundreds of witnesses. Basically. I just did a video everywhere. and told people that, like, that's the same as out, like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like being on Rodeo Drive. Yeah, Fifth yeah, Avenue, Chicago. In front of the Gucci, the Louis store. Like, I, I guess from my point of view, and we'll, we'll talk about the outcome of this a little bit later, but. To do something like this in broad daylight with hundreds of witnesses, knowing there's cameras everywhere, knowing you're probably not going to get away with it. Man, they well, had some flat-ass goofies. All them niggas, they got something to do with it, goofy. Not even just, you just a goofy. There's no way, folks, a motherfucker, I wouldn't give a fuck. Boy, I'm not going down there doing nothing, no, no. That's basically what you just said, fooling them in a, at the store on Rodeo. Man, I should let they ass shop, bro. Right. <laughs> get up with them next time. Exactly. Your ass is a goofy. Right. That was good. And you see the footage didn't come out. That's how you know it was so serious. They tried to act like, no, oh, damn, ain't no footage of Doug getting killed. Soon that trial happened. The Everything. whole shooting came out. Everything. You think all, all, all this the fucking money at, all this money at, you all think this shit ain't gonna get coming caught up in out of the shit? parking lots? Man, the whole, they got the whole thing, watching them boys leave out of old block, do the hit, no, on a, on a, a freeway, do the hit, come back, run, and back up the, come on, man, the whole thing. Y'all niggas got caught soon, y'all walked out the door. Well, the guys who get arrested for it, ultimately, see murder. Kenny Mack, Low C Thing, Muwap, TZ. I don't TZ. Even know them niggas, man. Them is, folks lost his life to a bunch of nobody. So you didn't know any of these guys. Them niggas made their name off duck, man. Mm. When you when you kill somebody that's have a name, that makes you have a name. Nobody knew nothing of these niggas. Never. I never heard of none of them niggas, man. I never heard of them. There was not the, the niggas that who name was ringing over there that people all oh, year watch. No, them niggas wasn't no Vaughn. No T word. They wasn't them. Okay. Well, a couple months later, King Von gets killed in Atlanta. Calm as a bitch. Did you know Von? I don't even know him, man. I know of him. But you didn't know a person. Like he was in jail and these niggas kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta think ducking them three, four years younger than me. Hmm. So, you know my little brothers. So the niggas they into it with still young niggas too. So but Vaughn's name was already, you know, niggas spoke on him, you know, but still, like, they even tried to make, like, Trevor, Lord Ross did that shit on him, like. Oh, he did the, the raps for a serial killer documentary yeah. on King Vaughn? 
I don't know how people, you know, to the world it looked like that, but these are not niggas not just, oh, King, King Von is the killer. We're not having a conversation about these niggas. Every nigga in this motherfucker around, everybody in Chicago a killer, damn now. You know what I'm saying? Not to be glorifying it, but shit, it's, it's kill to be killed. Nigga, before you kill me, I'm going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. He might not have been a killer yesterday, but he might be a killer today because he was forced to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it's a sad situation because a lot of times these are crimes of opportunity. Like you said, if if Duck was in Vegas, none of his enemies would have gotten a flight to Vegas. Man. Go, go hang out that at the That was mall. the realest shit you said on that, too. You know what I'm saying? What a nigga, yeah, I'm finna get the gun. I'm gonna go out here, buy a gun, and, and come Fly on, to Vegas, go that's, hang that's out in areas nigga, where he might be. What can like, you no, niggas is not doing that. Doesn't work that niggas way. is not doing that. No, it, it's, oh, so and so's down the street. No. And then shit happens. And niggas move strategically and smart anyway. Like you, niggas don't even know what niggas live at and all type of shit. So you, now you got to find me. At this point, you got to find me. Now I'm playing motherfucking. Yeah, you got to get up with me, literally. I don't live in the hood. You know, we got a little, you know, you get a little money now. I, yeah, you got to get in. You got to find me now. <laughs> you get out of prison in 2021 and then you go back to jail because you get kicked out of the cafe. I got halfway kicked house. out the halfway house. They were some haters. I'm in a halfway, 30, 40,000 on me. They blue. They mad. Fooling them, steady talking. You know, they make you get a little job and all the shit. So my job I had, I really wasn't even working for real. So, you know, my boss letting me, uh, 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 you know. But I fucked myself up. My dumb ass, leaving at 3 in the morning, I go home. I think the first BMF, my dumb ass on my Instagram, man. Posting this shit on my motherfucking story like a goofy. <laughs> so the whole time, the nigga in the halfway house, whoever it is, they, you know, they talking, oh, this King Yellow, woo dee woo woo. So now they had found out my, and that's another reason. That's why I changed my name from my, my name. Now you have to find me. You put in that, now that motherfucker, it's easy, easy to find you. So right. they instantly found me, King Yellow. On my shit. You know what I'm saying? Went, be, went, went, went in that motherfucker, man, they, Hey man, you 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 stuck until uh, we figure out what's going on. Next morning, I wake up, Lewis to the office. <laughs> Seven big ass white boys in there. I said, Oh shit, I'm going back. I already know what's going on. Yeah, man, they don't want you here no more. Well, that next year, 2022, FPG Cash gets shot and killed. Were you guys close? Cash was actually the first motherfucker I did a song with. Fucked with from St. Louis. That's the first person. 2012, like the like the beginning. Like mm. we had two two songs, uh, Foreign and um, Demons remix. Yeah, yeah I mean man. it's sad. You got Brick, Duck, and Cash all dying within a few years of each other. Man, that ain't even it, man. You don't even understand how many people was dead. I mean, them the famous names. But you got famous names in the hood too, the people that don't rap and that was, you know, boys in the hood and the boys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in reality, if you go back and look, like Brick got a song called Another One. Every, G, every nigga in that video did. It's probably one person that's alive. If you go watch that video, you're gonna see how many niggas in this video. All them niggas is dead. Well, you and Charleston White get into it in 2022. And then Charleston White calls the police on you. Man. I think he actually filmed himself calling the police on you. That man is crazy, man. I don't even want no smoke with him. That man called the police on me. My PO called me. <laughs> man, what's going on? Yeah, man, who's this star? But my PO was cool, man. He tried to, he tried to play like he was. My PO didn't like Charleston White. <laughs> he hate him because the disrespect, all the shit that he do. Yeah. He don't like him. He felt like he a bully. Then he saw him disrespect my daughter. It was definitely a, my P.O. get that. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, fuck I, I don't. I don't know. Like, it's not like Charleston's a stupid person. I mean, he's not. He's no. intelligent. I'm I, tell I've you. interviewed him multiple times, but the fact that he starts talking about people's kids and he does it, talk about raping babies and, and, and raping I'm kids and everything, I, I just don't get it because you're going to... You're gonna make someone do something stupid, yeah. By by saying shit like that, it's unnecessary. 
everything. It's, 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 everything it's, it's that not, he you, you can make your point without saying that. Yeah. But he got his tactics, and those are the tactics that he used. If you really realize he's fucked up and say fucked up shit, but that shit is an image for him. This is why I had to sit back and peep. Charleston White probably one of the smartest motherfuckers on the social media, man. And if you go back and do your homework on, I done found the old shit, he wasn't like that. Right. He was really preaching and trying to help people. You know what I'm saying? Nobody paid attention to him. I'm going to break down Charleston. I know what people do. He wasn't getting the attention he needed, so he started doing crazy shit. Mm -hmm. He knowing this dumbass shit he's saying, nip to everybody, fuck BDs, fuck... J he knowing this is going to get people riled up. He know this is going to get him talked about. You know what I'm saying? And then in the midst of that, because I watched some of the shit, like he be talking, then he tell his story and talk about... Man, your ass is just talking. Because some people might feel like that about me. The other just be doing shit. The man got a lot of sense. The way he talking, man. Look at, man, look at the shit that he's saying. And that's what I just noticed about him. But it's still in all, I'm not finna, not finna be, I'm not, I don't, I'm not finna get on here and say, fuck your ugly ass daughter. Or what? Well, because that, the kids ain't got nothing to do with the situation. I kids. I, that's all Kids okay. and people that don't have nothing to do with nothing. They don't that's have anything to do with He's it. He's not a game banger. He's a, a civilian, leave him alone. Yeah. He's an elderly person. That's just how I was raised. Kids, definitely. So now, you know, you just doing shit, but that shit going, those are your tactics, but them tactics going to get him fucked up. Eventually, somebody, you're going to run into somebody that disrespected and did that to him, and it's gonna, it ain't going to be good for him. Right. Well, in 2023, a video came out in jail where Lil J was uh, sitting on someone's lap. Mm. No. Someone was sitting on his Somebody lap. Somebody sitting on his sitting lap. On his lap. My bad. I mean, that doesn't really make a difference, but okay. <laughs> it depends on how you do it or put it. <laughs> you, you giving it or you taking it, but you're still both gay, but I'm just saying. You getting fucked in your ass is a little way worse. Like, <laughs> is it though? Get, huh? I mean, it's, gay is gay. Hey, listen, man, I've been to prison, man. You got niggas that ain't coming home that's real gangsters on that yard, man. They got life. Mm -hmm. They turning bitch ass niggas to bitches in there. That's what's going on. If we gonna be honest, I'm not, not saying I condone it, but I'm being real with you. But they still what's gay, going though. on? Yeah, he gay. Right. I ain't gonna take that. I'm just saying. But he ain't getting fucked in his ass. He treating that nigga like the bitch. Right, but he's still, just a fucked up individual because he's still, fucking that man. He's still a guy, though. Yeah, he's saying. fucking that man. I mean, you're not a... Are you a man after you get fucked in your ass? Are you a you're man a bitch. if you... You're a woman now. But I mean, you're not you a fucking, man. If you fuck another man in the ass... You a bitch-ass nigga, too. <laughs> but the nigga that's getting hit in his ass is a bitch now. You're not a man. Yeah, a okay. man getting dick in his... You're not a man. Men don't get... Women get fucked. Yeah, man, listen. It's all gay to me. It's all gay. It's all but gay I'm just breaking me. down the signs. It's all gay to me. If there's a man involved, <laughs> or a trans, or whatever, it's still gay. And what that's I'm cool, man. Is, be gay. If you want to be gay, be gay. Yeah, I, I listen, man. I ain't got I no got problem with gay people, What's man. going on with the I got community, gay man. friends. It's all good, man. I ain't got no gay friends. No. You ain't got no gay friends? <laughs> Shout out to Jason, Hollywood Unlocked, man. He's gay. That's my man. Oh, yeah, man. Jason was crazy when I yeah. did his interview. That man was crazy. Yeah, man. He cool. No, but I, you know, I, I just, you know, I stay out their way. Okay, so, so Lil J, you, you know? Lil Gay? You know him personally? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know him personally for sure. So, before he got locked up, was the gay thing out there or was yeah, it? I don't know. Lil J just always been a freaky ass nigga. So, it was like when that happened, like, yeah. Nobody was surprised. I don't know. You know, them niggas over there, like on St. Lawrence and shit, they start saying, yeah, they knew. Yeah, before I knew that bitch that he brought over there, she was kind of suspect. Before you saw a cheekbone, her jaws, and she looked like a man. They, you know, it was always shit like that. Like, they were like, man, her face strong as hell. <laughs> Damn, man. For the analogy, she might just look like her daddy. <laughs> yeah. Uh... He might have been doing it, though, man. Lil J, listen, man. He the type of nigga, he, listen, man, he might want to fuck, man, he fucked too much. I'd be like, damn, gee, we eh, get some money or something. He just, boy, you just want to fuck? So it's like niggas like that that go to jail, like, what you go do? 
nigga like that can, can't can't keep jacking off. He ain't gonna keep jacking off. Eventually, <laughs> yeah, you know keep, what happened. I would keep jacking off. I kept jacking <laughs> off too. Shit. <laughs> I'm fucking with to knock one of these COs, nurses in this bitch or something. something. Shit, something going on. Something. I ain't hitting no man. That's a that's out. Well, well you talk- feel a little different. Well, you talked about an interview, I think it was on Cam Capone News, that you got into it with uh, Lil Dirk's crew at a show in Chicago. Yeah, some old shit. Some old shit. Can you talk about that? Yeah. It was some old shit. Some shit. Nigga had a show. And, um... We was, uh... But Dirk had a show. Yeah. You know, motherfuckers was just around, you know. A lot of time, you know, it was... You know. Bow, 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 bow. You know, back and forth. It was just a whole bunch of shooting that ended up happening and shit. Ain't nobody get hurt, but... Dirk and them hit that corner about 90 cars deep. And next thing you know, it's just bullets flying. Shit, cars turning, cars flipping, all type of shit was going on. But that's really what happened, though. You know, you know what happened when uh, you know, niggas run into each other. Well, at this point, you're in your 30s. Dirk is in his 30s. Dirk has a bunch of money. You got, you know, you're comfortable. Yeah, I ain't got that money. He got, he got. Yeah, I mean, I don't got Dirk money. It's cool. Dirk, 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 Dirk is in a special right. place right now. Yeah. I mean, when you look at that whole situation, is it really that serious? What? In 2024? Is it really like... I'm not in tune with nobody, man. I ain't got no ops. So it's all good now. Hey, man. King Yell is living his life, man. I'm not in tune with nobody, man. There you have it. I'm not in tune with no Dirk, no... None of them niggas. Chief Keith, none of them, man. I don't want to be friends with niggas, though. Like, <laughs> you know, still, but you ain't you know, got no problems with them. No. Like, good. you just stay over there, you know. And that's that. At this age, you you's a goofy. You still doing the same shit, bro. Like, ain't nobody thinking about... No, ain't nobody, you know? Hell no, nah, man. Well, last year, 1090 Jake, he had released some uh, paperwork talking about how you got... You were getting arrested, and they say you named a whole bunch of people. I ain't named shit. The police named them. Okay. I didn't say uh, them niggas' name, man. That's what I'm saying. They... Listen, man. <laughs> The internet gonna take what they wanna take. I did a video on 1090 Jake about him being a rat. He had way more clout than me. He went and did his shit and convinced his fans and shit. They attacked me and put it all over. This man got a million followers. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So you're saying you didn't name anybody. Man, that's the police saying that. Okay. The police they're saying is Lil asking. Dirk, Offset, 600 Breezy. You allegedly talked about their gang affiliations. Man, listen, man. The police. Uh, is Offset BD or uh, GD? If this, he not breaking it down, I'm um, yeah he GD. I'm GD. We not into it. These are my responses back. There's nothing in my mind that I felt like me saying yeah he GD. Oh he's gonna get in trouble. You can't get in trouble for being. I, I'm GD. I can't. You can't come lock me up because I'm GD. Right. When you responded, you said did anyone go to jail? Huh? When you responded, man, to this, listen, you said, man, did snitching. Go to jail? Co-defendant, we just went and did something, and you turned on him. That's snitching, man. That the po- that's not. They try to. I'm in paperwork. How I'm in paperwork? That's the fucking police report. Same shit. Tay Savage said. That's the police report. Listen, so I'm not, that's I'm not the judging. police report. I'm, I'm not, not judging. This is not my signature writing on here. This is a a verbal conversation, and he got motherfucking a, a, a camera on on his stand. Six hundred breezy. You ran into him in the mall, right? He a BD. Yeah, he a BD. But I'm not a tool with the BDs I just told you. I'm not a tool. I don't have no ops. This is my response. Hmm. But that's snitching. Snapdog, he be who Snapdog be with, uh, with Dirk. This the police saying this. This is not King Yellow saying Dirk name. What the fuck am I bringing up their names to the police for? I get caught with a gun. I'm the one just went to the feds. Ain't nobody go to jail but me. I was gone four years. Come on, man. What the fuck? Dirk ain't go to jail. All these people they saying, oh, did they come get offset? Did they come get 600 Breezy? Come on, man. Knock it the fuck off. But you know they got this new shit. The same way you ask Boosie. What Boosie say? You ask Boosie. You know, Boosie the first motherfucker. He a motherfucking rat. He gonna tell you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boosie ain't say that with me. I don't know, man. I gotta do my homework. I gotta, you know, I gotta think about it. I gotta go see it. I ain't really. Come on, man. Boosie, you saw that shit, man. 
Man, listen. But you know, me and Boosie, I'm not here to me Boosie got a song called Famous Brass. He probably was like, God damn. <laughs> At the end of the day, man, a, a lot of this, the snitching shit and a lot of these accusations, a lot of it is a whole bunch of nothing. It's a whole, it's, it's bullshit. It's a whole bunch of nothing. It's the, it's bullshit, but it's the internet now. You got right. the nerds that never was nobody in real life that's on social media that don't even leave out the house that's behind the computer that's attacking you. Listen, man, people call me a snitch. Who, who did I snitch on? <laughs> you know what I mean? A That's motherfucker with a nine to five job is telling me Vlad is a, saying Vlad's a snitch. Hurry up to get, get you know, it's like hurry up to go, go to your up. job. They gonna go before up. you get a write up. They gonna go up because <laughs> you know they might mean? I already know what they saying with your shit. Damn, Vlad be asking some crazy shit. I right. mean, you have asked some crazy shit before, but I'm not gonna say you a, a snitch. This is your job, shit. Look at J Main now, shit. J Main, J Main don't give a fuck. He has a motherfucker. This was going on, hey. I'm asking you, your stupid ass, dumb enough to answer, that's your fault. Shit, I ain't tell your ass to say that. You, you get, hey, dodgeball, nigga, you better know to dodge that motherfucking, yeah. Huh? Even if it is a fucked up question, you know, huh? Earlier this year, the old block six go to trial, and all six of them were found guilty. You got in the that murder today, yeah. Stupid. Uh, APG Butter took the stand. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Butter get on the stand. Yeah. What do you say? Uh, he said a few things. I just saw the video. Butter said. <laughs> Butter said. Butter told the people with <laughs> key Vaughn shot him. I just saw the. I heard the audio. Yeah. Butter told the people uh, who Vaughn. Yeah, Vaughn. Vaughn. Vaughn shot me. Then he stood over my sister and shot her. But is he telling the story? He's telling his story. He's not snitching because Vaughn can't get in trouble. Right, Vaughn Me, personally, if a nigga dead, <laughs> hey, listen, man. <laughs> he killed the people, man. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. I'm finna go do 100 years for a nigga that's dead? You dumb as hell. That don't even make sense. Uh, Trench's news. He took the stand. Trench is a rat. He's a fucking rat. Do you know who that is? He's a rat. In real life? Swipe a dirty ass. He's a fucking rat. He's a rat. Nah, there's no well, way He's rat, actually, man. from what I understand, a paid informant. He's a fucking rat. He's a rat. He getting a government check from these people, man. You a fucking rat. And he happy about it. He happy about it. I'm taking him down. You all going to jail. That's how he act now. Like, what the fuck? Didn't you make some comments after they were found guilty and then, like, I think Lil Reese called you out or something about that? Like, what exactly happened? Shit, Lil Reese just told on his girl. That's her girl that's in the house. What is that? If they gonna play it as this new snitching shit, that's telling, right? I mean, it ain't snitching because ain't nobody go to jail, but he definitely told, right? No, Reese slid in my inbox. Man, nigga, you a rat. <laughs> he called me a rat. Man, this nigga crazy, man. I said, man, it's the same situation then, right? They asked something, you said, but I, you told them people that. But the same way, I got caught with the gun. This my baby mama gun. Mm. Is it really? Okay, it's a legal gun. The same way. It's a legal gun. Of course it's the bitch gun. It's her gun. Right. It's not my gun. It's her gun. It's a legal gun. Why wouldn't you say that? But, you know, I was just talking shit with Reese ass, but that wasn't, I mean, his was a little different because they didn't find the gun. They found the gun. It's a bitch gun. That's her gun, shit. Yeah, I mean, listen, the old block six, are now facing mandatory life, all six of them. And, and they're young. They're all in their 20s and 30s, early 30s at that. Man, them boys is over with, man. Yeah. They keep telling me, they're coming home, and I don't give a fuck how many lawyers you get. Yeah, you're not coming home. For that? Not for that. This shit over the media like that? Uh, no, you're not, you know. I've been going to jail all my life. Shit that's on TV and big like that, they're going to make an example of you. Then y'all don't, you're not going to the state, you're going to the feds. Oh, it's a Fed case? It's a Fed case. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is a Fed case. Yeah, and yeah, when yeah. you go to the Feds with shit like that, you're not going to no, uh, they're not going to no camp. They're not going to no FCI. You're going to USP. I was right. in USP Victorville. It's the worst jail time I ever did in my life. Niggas just walking around that bitch miserable. Souls gone. There's dead souls in that bitch. They going to have a hard time. <laughs> What's the difference between state and feds from what you've seen? Man, you got more leeway, more wiggle in the state. I mean, you know, some states are still cracking, but you got more leeway. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
Fizz is different, man. You can't even. You know how people play basketball? You can't even kick it on your feet without everybody. You know? Then it's cars. It's different. Like, everybody in the car. So you're going to have a Midwest car. You're going to have a down south car. Like, everybody. Like, all the, everybody. It's segregated. The Mexicans over there, the white boys. It's just crazy. And the white boys being there killing the shit out of each other, too. They talking about black on black crime. They must don't see what them boys doing in that yard up and up. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. And, you know, there's rumors that there was, I've heard 100,000 was on Duck's head. I heard 250,000. But no matter what that number is. Man, that shit not worth it. It's not worth it. What, split six ways? You know how many times a motherfucker could make $100,000, man? I make that shit talking to my phone. Motherfucker crazy as hell. What the fuck? Right. Do all that, face life in prison for that shit. It's sad, man. It's a lot of lies. But you got to think about a lot of people, they... Broke, starving, the game banging. These niggas bums. They come from the slums. All that O Block shit. You gotta understand, O Block ain't shit but a dirty ass project. That's a project building. They're tearing it down, right? Oh no, excuse me. They said they was. It's still there. Yeah. But you gotta understand too, Chicago man. Chicago corrupt, corrupted. Period. From the mayors to the to the to the police to to everything that's going on. So a lot of this shit is. Of course, they want niggas to keep killing each other. The funeral homes, the funeral shit. I don't. Funeral, whoever owned the funeral hoes, rich than a motherfucker. Mm. But they not going to tear down. They, that's what they want. That's why they built that shit. They know what was going on. It was a project. This was a project. I know we're going to do this. We're going to take their daddies. We're going to put crack in here. We're going to do this. This shit was already, it was already, this was a project, man. They, it was a fucking science project. They knew it already. Yep. And now look, across the world they did this. And below poverty and all the hoods across from Vegas to California, they built this shit and they knew what was going to happen. Yeah, man, listen. Back in the day, it wasn't uh, like that. Before uh, projects, why they always say, it was so beautiful over here. Then you took the, took the mamas over there, put their ass in there. Okay, ladies, y'all get y'all own shit. Not knowing. Next thing you know, crack pop up. Yeah, I mean, when you Life look at the whole. been fucked up ever since then. I mean, if you just look at how it's set up, you have a financial motivation not to have a man in your house. You get more money if there's no husband right. or father in the household. And, but what, and what is that doing? This is, now, this now, is, now the woman is better off by not having a man, which right. makes no sense to the family, right? They're fucking, they fucked everything up. Look at all these kids that grew up with no daddy. They right. fucked up. Yeah. They knew what they was doing. I told you it was a project. Yeah. It's a fucking science yeah, it's, project it's sad, with humans. It, they knew it's what the it's fuck absolutely they was sad. Doing. And, um, and you see the outcome of it. Yeah. Now, now you have a whole bunch of males growing up with no father around, so they're more emotional because all they're around are women. They don't know how to deal with masculine energy. Right. They act like a woman when, when faced with a difficult situation, unfortunately. Yeah. Facts. Then they grow up into, into adults, and they don't know how to, how to deal with certain things, and they, they behave in an improper manner because there was no father figure in the household. Yeah. I mean, listen, you're, you're a father, you have kids. You understand that if you weren't around, the kids would grow up a, a lot differently. They'd be fucked up. I tell my kids all the time, and I ain't yeah. your mama, this shit is not sweet. Ain't right. shit gonna be sweet about this. And I'm an alpha male anyway, so this, I'm aggressive, all the shit, so there ain't no, you know, ain't, yeah. King Yellow, man, I appreciate you coming in. It's been nine years. Uh, you know, congratulations, really, being mature enough to move out of Chicago to a whole different part of the country where you don't have any old beefs, you don't have any, Shit, I ain't you know, don't have to look over his shoulder. You know, I mean, like, for, Chief Keefe did the same thing. When Chief Keefe got hot, he moved to Calabasas. He was rich. I left Chicago with $500. Yeah, but... 500 in the dream, baby. 500 is, is, is 500 more, in the dream. It's more than your life. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? At, at the but end of the day... Ain't... That wasn't even the reason like why I left though. Like I just, you know, it wasn't like, oh, let me get away from it. I mean, it was just, oh, my mama was always in my ear too. Like, baby, spread your wings. And you know, it's opportunity out here in the world. So I'm like, fuck it, you know? And then I went to Vegas and was, I just saw what was going on. It was just, hmm. It's not bad out there. Imagine if I park here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no. Nah. Vegas is cool, man. I go out there once or twice a year. Yeah. You don't have to pay uh, income tax. Mm -hmm. That's nice. 
And at the end of the day, that's where a lot of people go there to lay low. Yeah. I feel like everybody lives in Vegas. Everyone lives everybody. in Vegas. There's not a everybody. And no one wants to mess up Vegas and turn it into a new Chicago or you know, I'm no, saying, don't don't South Central. Nah, shit. You know, in them certain parts of Vegas, it's not. It's I know, like, but it's, it's like not. That. But it's not like no Chicago. No, no, no. Because a lot of transplants that. from different areas. I don't think nothing like Chicago. Exactly. Know. It's not like Compton. It's not like Long Beach. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, and I think a lot of people appreciate the fact that they could live a peaceful life out there. The property prices are lower and everything mm-hmm. else like that. And congratulations on the maturity to do that because. I've interviewed at least a dozen young black men who refuse to do that. Yeah. From Jay the Youngin to Young Greatness to FBG Duck to Chinks Drugs. The list goes on and on. Me and Pop Smoke talked a couple years, you know, a couple days before before he passed. Uh, just a lot of people, man. Maserati Fox, like, like just a lot of people who just died sen- senselessly because they didn't want to move out of the neighborhood because right. they felt like, oh, they're not going to tell me where I'm going to live. You know, like Boosie, the whole hypnotized with hatred thing. He moved out of Baton Rouge. Yeah. He said, fuck that place. But it took Boosie to go to prison, too. Yeah. Now, once he went to prison, and came home with a different, you know, that. Exactly. That prison shit changed shit, man. You look at life different in a lot of ways. Yeah. After being stuck in a fucking. A cell and a fu- basically a bad living. You thinking like you living in a bathroom for years? Oh yeah, that's why I tell people. Try to go lock yourself in the bathroom. That's and why see I tell how long people. you will last in that motherfucker. Lay on the floor in the bathroom, right? For a, a month. bathroom with a little tiny little window. Put you some food in there. Just see how long you will last. Yeah, take a shit in there. Yeah. Get out. Everything else. Just don't do smell it. Then you live right there. Take and a see piece. how you react. Right. Yeah, it's gonna be fucked up. I'm still like I'm fucked up, bro. Niggas, that you know, people. Fucked up, man. That shit mentally fuck you up in right. different ways, man. You know? That shit, man. Motherfucker being a cell. And Vegas, too. They put that famous jacket on me soon. And then County, 23 and 1. I'm in that bitch talking to myself. Hey, fool. <laughs> Y'all love. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I got to get the fuck up out of here. This shit real. No, you start having, like, it's crazy. Like, you, Yeah. Well, that's what it is, man. King Yell, appreciate you coming in, man. Congratulations. Like I said, TMG, the moving, label, like cable, of, of raising, raising your kids, being a father. Yeah. And taking care of your business, man. Oh, Wish sir. you all the best. Yes, sir. Until next too. time. Peace.